It took a while, but stories about the LGBTQ plus community are becoming more prominent on the big and small screens, and Amazon Prime Video is leading the streaming charge. Amazon is embracing its status as the streaming home for the best content for the queer community. As one of the most progressive streamers, Prime Video has an enviable and considerably diverse library of LGBTQ plus stories. So, if you're looking to expand your horizons or watch a movie that feels more representative of you and your life, you have some great options here, from laugh-out-loud comedies to heart-wrenching dramas. We've curated a list of the best LGBTQ plus movies on Amazon Prime Video right now. Golden Globe winner Gail Garcia Bernal stars as American-born Mexican lookador Saul Armendariz, best known as Cass Sandro, in the eponymous biopic directed by Roger Ross Williams. The film chronicles Cassandro's rise to fame as an exotico lookador, his life as an openly homosexual man, and his subsequent international success. Cassandro is an exuberant showcase for Garcia Bernal and a worthy depiction of Armendariz's legacy showing how his efforts inside the ring as the Liberace of Lucha Libra. Subverted notions of masculinity in a country famous for its deep-rooted machismo. Based on the eponymous 2012 novel by Bethan Roberts, My Policeman stars Harry Styles, Emma Corrin, and David Dawson. The plot follows Tom, a policeman in 1950s Britain, who falls in love with a schoolteacher before beginning a torrid same-sex affair with a museum curator. My policeman is not perfect, the plot meanders, and the message isn't as impactful as it could be. However, strong work from Corin and Dawson elevates the material. For his part, Styles does his best, particularly thanks to his chemistry with Dawson, and it's just enough to keep the film afloat. A classic coming-of-age romantic drama Summer of 85 portrays the friendship and eventual romance between 16-year-old Alexis and 18-year-old David over a summer in Normandy in 1985. Summer of 85 thrives for the authenticity it brings to its portrayal of first love and its powerful and enduring effects. Director Francois Ozon crafts a thoughtful yet raw depiction of queer teen love, unafraid of exploring its darkest corners yet delicate enough to preserve its youthful innocence. Nicholas Galatzine and Taylor Zahar Perez star in Prime Video's rom-com Red, White, and Royal Blue. Based on the best-selling novel, the film chronicles the romance between a British prince and the son of the President of the United States. Sweet, funny, and surprisingly steamy, Red, White, and Royal Blue is a throwback to the classic romantic comedies of the 1980s and 90s. The charming leads and supporting cast of familiar faces make Red, White, and Royal Blue a perfect film for a satisfying afternoon at home. The Prime Video original My Fake Boyfriend stars Keenan Lonsdale, Dylan Sprouse, and Sarah Hyland. The plot revolves around Andrew, a young man dealing with a toxic relationship. His meddling friends create a fake boyfriend to help him get over the mess, but things get complicated when Andrew meets a guy he's actually interested in only to find himself trapped in a relationship with a fictional man. With a decent premise elevated by a trio of charismatic performers, My Fake Boyfriend is a solidly entertaining rom-com and another worthy entry in Prime Video's ever-expanding LGBTQ plus catalog. Oscar winner and X-Men movie star Anna Paquin co-stars opposite Holiday Granger in the 2018 period drama Tell It to the Bees. The film centers on the blossoming relationship between Lydia, a dissatisfied housewife, and Jean, a charming doctor newly arrived in town. As the women's relationship develops, Lydia's marriage and life begin to suffer harsh condemnation from the conservative town. The film received mixed to positive reviews from critics, who praised the performances but criticized the formulaic plot. Giant Little Ones revolves around Frankie a popular teenager whose life and long-time relationship with best friend Ballas is appended when they have a sexual encounter with each other at a party. As both teenagers deal with their sexuality and identity, they develop new connections while losing others. The film received positive reviews praising its fresh spin on the coming-of-age genre. Set in the elite world of the Upper East Side, those people centers on Charlie, a young gay painter in love with his best friend, Sebastian. 
Charlie provides emotional support while Sebastian deals with a high-profile family scandal. When a handsome pianist catches his eye, Charlie must balance his blossoming relationship while dealing with the true nature of his feelings for Sebastian. Also known as Mi Mejor Amigo, this Spanish-language Argentinian film is a coming-of-age movie about Lorenzo, a 16-year-old boy in Patagonia discovering his sexuality with the help and friendship of Cato, a 17-year-old who has been taken in by Lorenzo's parents. The film beautifully presents the idea of a young man struggling to understand his feelings and attractions as well as his emotional connections with others. It has been praised for its subtleties and believable performances about two young men simply trying to find themselves. Now, before moving to number 10, here's some honorable mentions. Yura's father died almost a decade ago, and while continuing to try and come to terms with the loss, a young Syrian refugee named Yad arrives in his life, working for his grandmother. Despite Yura's conservative upbringing, he can't deny the spark that exists between him and Yad, who quickly realizes that they aren't just friends, but share a much deeper and romantic bond. The hidden gem Dutch romantic comedy is part coming of age and part story of love that must defy the odds, familial pressures, and coming to terms with one's true self. If you enjoyed watching this video, check out our other videos. Don't forget to subscribe Pride Reviews and click the bell notification for more upcoming videos.